What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. In this one I'll be showing you all how you can easily unlock the Dark Aether Rift as a solo player. Before we begin, I quickly want to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a professional Call of Duty boosting service and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics including the new classified schematics. They'll even help you unlock the Borealis camo and so much more. If you're interested, then click the link in the description below and use my code HIP for 5% off. Alright guys, so in order to open up the Dark Aether Rift, you'll need to have 4 items. One of these items is the Locked Diary and you'll have to complete the Act 4 Story Mission Bad Signal to obtain that. If you guys need help with that, then check out my previous video where I show you guys exactly how to take out the Giant Worm Boss easily as a solo player. Once you've obtained the Locked Diary, we'll need 3 more items, the Pill Bottle, the Dog Collar, and the Surveillance Camera. Don't worry, you don't have to do all of this in one game as you can just exfil after getting the item and keep it in your stash. So let's begin with the Pill Bottle. In order to receive the Pill Bottle, you'll need to have the Brain Rod Ammo Mod on your weapon. If you don't have one of them in your stash and you don't have the schematics for it, then I'd recommend farming some Tier 1 contracts until you find one. Once you've got the Brain Rod Ammo Mod on your weapon, it's time to make our way over to an Aether Nest. Get inside of it and shoot at one of these cysts, as shown on screen. Just make sure your weapon isn't too powerful or you might end up destroying it. Once you've shot at it and Brain Rod did its job, you'll notice that you'll have an interact prompt on screen allowing you to open up the toxic cyst. Inside the cyst, you'll find a purple pill bottle. Now just go ahead and complete the aether nest as you normally would. Now it's time to locate an aether tear. You can find these all over the map so just keep an eye out for them and it shouldn't take you too long to find one. Once you've found it, go ahead and walk into it. As soon as it shoots you up into the sky, it'll make you face in the direction of a green aether tear. Just go ahead and open up your parachute and fly right into it. This green aether tear will take you right over to a purple HVT contract and you'll want to go ahead and accept that. Your target will be in the low threat zone so there's not too much to worry about. Just make your way over to the HVT and take him out and that's going to give you the golden pill bottle. Now if you want, you can go ahead and exfil to stow the pill bottle in your stash, or just stay in there and get the surveillance camera. To get the surveillance camera, you'll need to have the dead wire ammo mod equipped on your weapon. Drive around the map until you locate one of these harvester orbs. Once you've found one, just keep shooting at it until you finally destroy it, which might take a minute or two. After destroying the harvester orb, it'll drop a purple surveillance camera. Go ahead and pick that up. Just like with the pill bottle, it's time to locate an aether tear. Run into the aether tear and once it shoots you up into the sky, it'll make you face in the direction of a yellow aether tear. Just open your parachute and fly right into it. This will teleport you into the medium threat zone and once again it will ping a purple HVT contract near you. Go ahead and pick up the contract. Now this HVT will be in the medium threat zone so you may want to have your weapon at pack a punch tier 1 or 2 just to make things a bit quicker and easier. After killing the marked HVT it should drop a golden surveillance camera. At this point I definitely recommend exfilling as we'll be going into the tier 3 zone for the next item. The final item we'll be needing is the dog collar. In order to obtain the dog collar, you'll need to have molotovs equipped and you're going to need to find a chunk of meat. Your best bet would be to start an escort contract and just let the tank run over the zombies. You should find the chunk of meat pretty quickly that way. Once you've obtained a chunk of meat and you have your molotovs equipped, it's time to locate a doghouse. You can easily spot these from a distance because they'll have some black smoke coming off them, or you can use a map on screen which shows some of the doghouse locations. As soon as you found a doghouse, walk up to it and place a chunk of meat and a molotov inside. This is going to spawn a hellhound which you'll have to kill and that's going to give you a purple dog collar. So now that you have the dog collar in your backpack, it's time to locate an aether tear. Walk up to it and as soon as it shoots you in the air, it'll make you face in the direction of a red aether tear. Open your parachute and fly into it and that'll bring you into the tier 3 zone. Once again, a purple bounty contract will be pinged, so go ahead and accept it and make your way over to the bounty target. 
Now, I used a crossbow for this, which was alright, it's definitely not what it was prior to the update, so I'd recommend using the snake shot akimbo tears just to make this as easy as possible. Don't be afraid to use decoys in Aether Shroud if there's too many zombies running up on you. After killing the target, it'll drop a Golden Dog Collar, which is the fourth and final item. Now make your way over to an Exfil and it's time for the final part of this guide. For the final part, I'd strongly recommend bringing the Akimbo Snakeshot tier revolvers along with an Aether Tool and a few perks because we'll have to take out a Mega Abomination along with a bunch of zombies. Decoy grenades will help for this as well and you'll definitely be needing a self revive. Make sure you bring the dog collar, pill bottle, surveillance camera, and the lock diary along with you as we'll be needing those to open up the dark aether portal. Once you've got everything equipped, it's time to make our way back to Urzikstan. So if you don't have an aether tool and you don't have any ethereum crystals and just spend some time during this match to gear up properly and make sure you have a pack punch tier 3 weapon for the mega abomination fight. I'd recommend having a 3 plate vest, 2 or 3 self revives, and if you want you could go ahead and buy a sentry gun. Once you're fully geared let's make our way over to the dark aether portal which is located near the act 4 mission where you'll see this tornado. Run into the center and you'll find these 4 pedestals. Each pedestal has a different ammo mod symbol so now it's time to place our items on each pedestal. Place the lock diary on the pedestal marked with the cryo freeze symbol. Place your pill bottle on the pedestal marked with the brain rot symbol. Place the surveillance camera on the pedestal marked with the dead wire symbol. And finally place a dog collar on the pedestal marked with the napalm burst symbol. After placing all four items the portal will become active and a mega abomination will spawn along with a bunch of zombies. If you have a sentry gun go ahead and place it down now and focus on the mega abomination. If you have the akimbo snake shot revolvers like I do it shouldn't be too difficult just play it safe and don't be afraid to throw your decoy grenades to distract the zombies while you're taking out the mega abomination. You can also go into the water and do some work from there, but just be careful as the zombies will sling their meat at you. After killing the Mega Abomination, a reward rift will spawn and that's where you receive your first sigil. These sigils are single use items and they act like keys to enter the Dark Aether. To obtain more of these, you'll have to complete contracts in the tier 3 zone and they'll have a chance of rewarding you with more sigils. In order to obtain the Elder Sigils, you'll have to complete contracts in the Dark Aether. Now that you've unlocked the portal, I'd strongly recommend expelling and coming in prepared to complete contracts in the Dark Aether. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for me, I really hope this guide was helpful to you. I'm currently working on a solo strategy for completing contracts in the Dark Aether, which will allow you to unlock the new classified schematics, so please stay tuned for that. I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to the channel to show your support. We're almost at 6k subscribers, which is awesome and I appreciate each and every one of you. Anyways guys, hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.